All right, so uh, KTAR is making some changes in the afternoon, some familiar voices and some voices from the past joining forces. Gatos joins me along with Bruce St. James. Welcome, boys. Thank you. I this thought is... we were getting this shift. <laughs> yeah. You want it? I, I don't know. That's the rumor that I heard. I'll then, trade. I'll well, trade with I'm you. I'm just saying. I just put put us somewhere. Lay, open the microphone and let's go. All right. So let me let's let's dive into this. Okay. First of all, I told you this morning. This yeah. genuinely was my idea for the name of the show because <laughs> oh, I know gosh. you're wrestling around with. We it. are. We're, we're debating. I said to him, "This it gives you top billing." Oh well, I like it already. It's called Saint Gatos. Saint Gatos. Gay Bruce. <laughs> well, after your sausage <laughs> comment this morning. Well, I mean, listen, uh, you know, you, you you mix the names like, you know, you, Affleck and uh, Benifer yep. and all yeah. this kind of. I like yeah. St. Gatos. Or, you, now you like that. Now I like St. Gatos. Like, now you now like, like that. Saint, it's like the patron saint of quality footwear. I, I don't you know. You know, St. Gatos. I, I, I don't know. We, we, we're not really concerned the, about the a name. The patron saint of afternoon drive, there the St. Gatos show. Saint that Gatos. is a terrible thing to tell people on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's going to listen there And it's going to be a seven. tough thing to live up to. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So let's talk about this. Both of you guys, tons of experience working in radio. Both of you working with partners in the past. Are but, you interviewing us? Yes, is I this am. an interview? Because I'm interested how this works. I've never worked. With a co-host, oh, ever. Really? Okay. So I, it, I know that there's an art to it. Yeah. And I don't know that I could ever do it. Both of you have been kind of the number one. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to be sharing that really seriously co-host. How does that work? Well, uh, anytime you work with somebody else in any sort of a uh, collaborative way on the radio, it's a relationship. Uh, you've heard it described as a marriage, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, uh, the good news is, is that Gatos and I have known each other for longer than either one of us will admit. Twenty years. Twenty plus. Yeah, twenty right? plus years. Yeah. Uh, I think we know each other. We understand each other. And as long as we're communicating, mm-hmm. I think we're going to be fine. And we've already talked about like division of labor. Just think of this: if there was another you in the studio, Ooh. you get twice as much done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. Could uh, people around the building hearing that there might be two of me? They don't, be, uh, okay. Uh, it sounded good on paper. But it, but the. I, I just think it's going to be – you both have been very successful individually. Together, you want to make that, – that could be a recipe for disaster, but it could be a recipe for great success. Yeah. I think it could be both. I hope it's successful disaster. How's that? I think it's going to be a huge success. I have no doubt. I really do. I have no doubt. Um, I think you and I have talked over the years about doing a show together. Mm-hmm. Uh, we never knew if it was going to happen. Now it's going to happen. Uh, we'll be on from 4 to 7. And listen, I mean, ever what's the show about? Well, do you know this guy? Yeah, I think most people know Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Do they know me? Well, okay, then they okay, the show's going to be about us, what we think of the news. We want to bring, you know, the audience in. We want, you know, we want them as part of the show. Um, but we're going to hit the biggest local stories. I, the one thing I love about this show well, and the three of us, let's just be honest. I'm just talking with the three mm-hmm. of us. Mm-hmm. Nobody loves Arizona like us three. Right. Yeah. I agree. There, there's no question. But when I look at you two guys, you love Arizona. Mike, you love Arizona. I never want to move move away. Bruce, I you're here. I choose to here. live here. Yes. You choose it. I choose so I think, I, I think it gives the station, you know, all these different day parts where you love, where people are here who are kind of fighting for Arizona, love Arizona. Bruce and I love Arizona. We're going we're gonna to hold people accountable. We're going to have fun. We're going to hit the big local issues. And we're gonna we're gonna do it better than anybody else. Yeah. It, it, what's what's fun about it for me is to hear the big strong opinions that each of you have. Yeah, uh, how those are going to mesh because that's you know again t- I, maybe it's too technical for me. Yeah. But when I was at, at another station um, and a new boss came in, the first thing the boss said to everybody else in the room was, "You be quiet. It's his show." Yeah. And I thought, "Ooh, all right. I kind of like the, the way that sounds." First rule of radio is don't listen to the bosses. Yeah. Number okay. one. Yeah. Let's just be honest. But if they're wearing a coat or a tie, yeah. ignore them. Ignore them. I've been here 25 <laughs> years and I don't listen to them, yeah. so I'm going to keep not listening to it's them. The, I used to be the boss. You, you know, used so to I be the know. boss. Yeah. Exactly. But isn't it the one? Th- one thing I learned about radio because I was a complete novice is it's the weirdest business because it's the only one I know of if you can't be successful on the air they make you a boss <laughs> supervising people <laughs> you fail there. miserably at this you've got management written all over you you know you really do no thank you no yeah. no so, I don't think you I thought uh, Bruce has been the boss of, of a ton of different radio stations yeah. music well, but music mostly, right? right right mostly you know music now isn't your background hip-hop music yeah yeah, I ran a hip hop radio stations in uh, Los Angeles, in Tucson, and Phoenix. Mm-hmm. That's that's an incredible career. Yeah. What years? Like what genre? What, t- 90s, what time? Mostly nineties okay. into the two thousands. All yeah. right, cool. So all I right. was, you know, if you Biggie, name a Tupac, star, you know, Dre, if you name all a star, that stuff. he's got a story. 
It's yeah. a really interesting thing. I mean, he's, we're going to tell some of them, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you met Michael Jackson, Taylor Swift. You met everybody. I've met everybody. You've, he's literally met every. Like me, I'm going to name drop. You ready? Yeah. I met Broomhead. <laughs> that's an awful. That's awful. That's terrible. That no is one, terrible. No one cares. Yeah, no one. No like, hey, can one I tell cares. you my Mike Broomhead story? They're no like, no, one, thank you. No one. He cares. goes to a party. He's like, let me tell you. When I walked uh, through a, a kitchen and. I found out that was a prince's kitchen, and, yeah. and there he is making whatever. I mean, yeah. I've got a broomhead story. So me, He's got a prince story. So let me test him. I'm going to test you, Bruce. Oh, going to test you. Yeah. Give me a Sir Mix-a-Lot story. Uh, I did a show with him. I did a show well, with uh, 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 Sir Mix-a-Lot, yes, the baby, at the height of Baby Got Back, which was, I mean, was a huge song. It wasn't just a hip-hop song right. anymore. It was getting played at every it wedding in America. It still, still does. right? Yeah. Exactly. And uh, older than you would think. Like, you would think all these hip-hop people were kind of young. Mixlot was like he had kids, you yeah. know. He had like teenage kids with him, and I was like, he's not a young man by yeah. any stretch. But he had touched on something and uh, was a lot of fun. Professional, I would say that. Some of them are in it, and you get an idea that they have absolutely no idea there's a business to it. Yeah. And others are there, and they know how to count the money at the end of the day. And I was like, those are the ones going to be around. I <laughs> met I met Cool J when I was a kid. Hello, Cool J. I met him. Yeah. And when he was just starting out, okay. and when Did he was he have making his the pant leg up to his knee. No, he that's didn't. His look. Okay, he I'm didn't. just asking. But I was impressed with. With such a young kid having the business yep. sense and professionalism he had yep. as a young kid. This was truly a business for him. Yeah. And it was great to see him perform, but he was a businessman and he acted professionally. Can I tell you that, you know, LL stands for Ladies Love, yeah. Cool J. And I, we, we were working with him and we did a variety of shows over the years with him and worked with him. And, and I said, I have problems calling you LL. I don't know what to call you. Yeah. Like LL means Ladies Love. I don't feel comfortable calling <laughs> you that. And he said, You can call me James. I go, Okay. So nice. he goes, my friends call me James. I go, oh, does that mean we're friends? I'm right, friends. Right. We call him James. I would. I've got a Jim Sharp story. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody has a Jim Sharp there story. Is that. <laughs> there is that. So let's talk about, uh, we, I was joking about the name. Uh, yeah. It sounds silly, but you've got to decide, and it's something identifiable. Are you coming to a conclusion? Are you guys got an idea? What are you going to do with it? We have a list. Yeah, we have a. Are we gonna throw list. darts at a board? I, I don't, I, I'm not a fan of the list. I, I, I think, I think we'll figure it out. Something's got to click, but you know, ultimately, what are we gonna put on the t-shirts and the hats? Uh, we're better than Broomhead. Oh, okay, well, all we're right. Worse Line than Broomhead. Up. One Line of the, up. I mean, one of the two. Line up. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I, I don't feel like a name is is a big deal. It's what you're gonna listen to from four to seven. You, I think you the know name what you, won't be the reason you listen or don't listen. Is right. that fair to say? Yeah. The unknown afternoon so. show. Wear the paper bag. Oh. Find oh. the unknown comic. Uh, yeah, it's fine with go. me. Yep. I'm, I'm up for go. anything. You can put anything. I like on this the like list. a brainstorming session. I think somebody <laughs> should be writing this stuff down. Somewhere. So then topics. You know, again, yeah. we all end up talking yeah. about our political opinions come out yeah. in things, but it's issue based stuff. What do you guys? What are some of the big things you want to talk about? What Le are you looking forward to talking? Less about? politics. Yeah. I think that uh, I think that people are tired of of uh, of the insanity, and we're going to cover it. Um, but it's not going to be three hours worth of politics. We're just no. not going to do it. I don't think people want it. Um, but you're going to get exactly what you need to know about the race. And certainly, we're not going to shy away from that. I think we'll 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 have the best coverage of the election. We're going to do it differently, um, but I think less. I think less politics. I, I think people want less politics, and yeah, we're going to do. I that. would agree. Again, and as much as is possible, we're going to try to have some fun with. You it. have yeah. to. Let's 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 bring the temperature of the room down a little bit. Do you and, know what I mean? Yeah, because you just taking these people too seriously is a big mistake Agreed. we've all made. Well, of course. Agreed. And of you're course. going to bring such a pop culture element to. The, I mean, I mean that sincerely. Yeah. There's, I just joked with you about give me a story. I would do that every day in one segment and have him not know what that's going to be. About. Give me a story about this. It's I think it would be great. About. Yeah, because he's yeah. got hundreds of stories. Yeah. yeah. I just think you put our two personalities on the air, and there's never been anything like it on KTAR since I've been here. And and I think that's going to be I think it's going to be a powerhouse show. I think it's going to be must listen to. Wow, um, I'm excited. When does this thing start? Let's listen. go. And, you know? and the other part. What do you of want it, me to do? Come in and say, you know what? It's going to be okay. Yeah. And generally yeah, right? speaking, <laughs> on the way home, people are on their way home. Mm -hmm. They've had a rough day. Right. And they want to lighten up a little bit. Exactly. And they want to hear something entertaining and maybe some fun. They want information. Definitely. But they want to have some fun. Yeah. yeah. Joining the conversation. You know, Gatos and I agree on some things. We 
we passionately disagree on other things. Right. We'll always be respectful to one another. We hopefully, you know, in a certain sense, it represents the audience, you know. There's no dogma going on out there. We have people that disagree on a variety of different things. So we can have fun with it. We can be lighthearted about it. We can laugh at one, one another. We can laugh at ourselves. Yeah. But you, you had me until you said we're going to be respectful. <laughs> I, we are going to listen for a little bit of the train crash when it happens once in a while. I like train crashes. They're good, right? I crashed the train on your show earlier today. When so. you and I'm just saying. I, some of the fun we have is when you make me laugh with the... Did you hear what he said on the show? Oh, this I missed it and I it's apologize. A, it's going to be out I of context. Him, I, it's going to be awful. I, I'll give him context. Okay. I told him... He asked me why I was in such a good mood. I said I went to Little Miss Barbecue. Oh. I got the pork ribs. Oh. And I got smoked sausage. Amazing. His response... Sausage makes me happy. Oh. <laughs> and it just cracked them up. Yeah. As well it should. I mean, listen. As said, well it should. The, the motto of the new show. That's the t-shirt. Yeah. Sausage <laughs> makes me happy. I just, I, I think he had a great meal. He was fat and happy last night. Yes. Uh, he sounded like it this morning. I asked the question because I, 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 I want to know. And, and he told me. And it, listen. Uh, sausage makes little, everybody happy. It, and I Little Miss Barbecue will do that too. to you, won't it? It'll, it'll do that Fantastic. to you. <laughs> I'm giggling again. You always do that to me. It's awesome. Listen, guys, I'm thrilled about hearing what the show sounds like. Thanks for coming in and previewing it. And uh, I can't wait for it to start. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.